Hey, what do you think would happen if... So in my job as a teacher, I get a lot of questions from students and a lot of those are what if questions. So I'll be in lectures and a student's like, hey, what would happen if, and then they go about describing some scenario that's not a really common scenario, not something you would expect to happen very often, but maybe it's got a problematic outcome. Maybe it's, maybe things don't go well, or maybe they do. In class, I'm always thinking, I don't know if we have time for this detour, but it's really interesting. Part of my brain saying, hey, it's not that hard to test these out. Why don't you go test it out? And the other part of my brain is just saying, I, I wonder what, I wonder what would happen. So today, I thought I would answer one of those questions. Now, my reason for making this video is not to become the YouTube source for obscure computing or programming information, though that'd be cool. My reason is, is that one, it's fun to try stuff out. Two, I want to help you see just how easy it is to try some of this stuff out and just sort of play with some of these corner cases to see what actually happens. And three, because exploring and experimentation is a good way to learn stuff. And so today, I hope maybe you're going to learn something. Okay, so what's the question? A student recently asked me, what do you think would happen if I was in the middle of reading a file into memory from disk and the file got deleted? Like halfway in between reading it and the file gets deleted. Now today I'm gonna test this on Linux. I hope somebody else will test it on Mac and Windows and then let me know what happens. You might have different outcomes or it might be the same. Let's try it out. So of course to test this, we're gonna make a program. Now in this program, I'm going to first write a message to a file. Now this is just, it's just easier this way because we're gonna keep deleting this file and I wanna be able to repeat this experiment. So we're just gonna make the file first and then open the file for reading and read two 100 byte chunks of data from it. And then we'll print the chunks out. Okay, and we run the program and see that the chunks, the first 200 bytes of the file are printed out. Okay, now I'm reading the data in two different chunks because I wanna stick a delete operation. I wanna stick a remove function right in between the first chunk and the second chunk. Because I wanna make sure we're really in the middle of this file when the delete event occurs. Sound reasonable? So what do you think is gonna happen? I mean, maybe we'll get an error. Maybe, maybe the OS will intervene and it won't let the delete occur because the file's open. I don't know, what do you think? There's so many possibilities. Okay, so let's compile and run it. And no change, no error. The file's deleted, but it read the second chunk. So it got the whole file, which might mean that the OS didn't really delete the file when I called remove. Okay, to try that out, let's run the program in GDB. And I'm gonna stop it right before it's deleted. Okay, so the file is in there in the directory. Now let's run the delete operation, this remove function. Okay, now the file is gone okay, before we read the last chunk. Okay, so the file really is getting deleted. You see that it's no longer in the directory and it's happening before the second chunk is read. Now, now that might not be what you expected to happen. You see, when we called the remove function, basically the file was unlinked. Its directory entry was moved from the directory that it was in and it was marked for deletion, but the actual data blocks, the data blocks on disk are not removed and they're not actually unlinked until all the current open file handles are closed. So as long as I've got the file open, it sticks around, but only as long as I've got it open. As soon as I close that file, it's as good as gone. Okay, so that was fun. Now let's add just one more twist. To make sure that we're really thoroughly answering this question, I'm gonna comment out the remove function call. And instead, now I'm gonna stop it before reading the second chunk and now while it's stopped, now I'm going to edit the file contents in my editor, and then I'm gonna put a new message in here, and then, now, okay, now let's let the program continue running, and notice that we still get the old data. Okay, so when I edited the file and saved it, it created a new file to replace the old one, but as long as I have the old one open, I still get the data blocks from the old file. The old data is still there. So one more thing, I wanna be really careful when I talk about file data getting deleted. When I say it's deleted, what I, more precisely I should say it's hard to get at. The operating system is marking it for deletion. It's basically saying this data is deleted, but the old data is probably gonna stick around on disk until it gets overwritten by another file. And if we're clever, maybe we could get to that data. Maybe that's a topic for a future video. It's definitely not a topic for today. Okay, so I think that question is answered. I hope this was helpful. I hope you learned something. So I hope some of you try this out on Windows and Mac just to see what happens. And let me know what you find out. And of course, let me know if you have other what if questions you want me to answer on here that, that don't involve like destroying my machine or anything like that. And that's all the time I have for today. So happy coding and until the next video, I'll see you later.